Are you considering purchasing an investment property but are unsure about the way to finance it? These days, most investors purchase their property using a mortgage with a few people tending to buy them outright in cash. Similar to when you buy your own home, when you purchase using a mortgage, you have two options. The first is a repayment mortgage and the other is an interest only mortgage where you only pay the interest on the amount that you're borrowing. Today, I'm going to break down both options for you and help you understand why buying in cash is a no-go. Firstly, it's important to understand that a mortgage has two parts to it. The first part is the capital, that's the amount that you borrow. So let's say you purchase a property for £100,000 with a 75% loan to value. That means that you'll be borrowing £75,000 from the bank. That's the capital amount. The second part is the interest and that is a charge made by the bank on the amount that you borrow. So in this example, if you have an amount that you borrow of £75,000 and you have an interest rate of 3%, then you'll have an annual interest payment of £2,250. That is the interest amount. You can either have an interest-only mortgage or you can have a repayment mortgage. With an interest-only mortgage, you're only paying back the interest on the loan and with a repayment mortgage, you're going to be paying back the interest plus a proportion of the capital every month. And therefore, you'd pay off the mortgage much sooner because every single month you're paying down that mortgage. As an investor, I always opt for interest-only mortgages on my buy-to-let properties. And here's why. At the end of the day, my buy-to-let property isn't the same level of risk as my, resident, as my residential property. That means that I can leverage up my buy-to-let property and continue to generate a better return by having it as an interest-only mortgage. When I pay interest and capital, the amount that I repay on a monthly basis is actually much higher. And that means that the amount of profit that I make on a monthly basis is lower. Now that we've looked at the two different types of mortgages, let's look at the difference between purchasing using a mortgage versus using cash. Now there are some advantages of using cash. Firstly, you don't have the lengthy mortgage process to go through, so you can act a lot quicker. Secondly, you don't have to wait for the lender to approve your mortgage, and so it's a more certain sale because the vendor knows that you're more likely to complete and you can do it quickly. However, investors typically tend to purchase with a mortgage because it allows them to leverage their money and allows them to purchase more properties. So for example, instead of purchasing one property with £150,000 cash, you can use that same amount of cash and leverage your money so you can purchase three properties using a mortgage. And of course, that will significantly increase your rental return and also your capital growth because you'll now have three properties that are increasing in value every year rather than just having one property. The rents that the tenants pay more than cover the mortgage interest costs on all three properties and this leaves more net profit at the end of every month compared to if you had just purchased one property. So which one is going to be right for you? Well, ultimately, it comes down to your individual circumstances. You should consult with an independent mortgage advisor and a tax advisor before you make any decisions. If you'd like a good recommendation for a mortgage or a tax advisor, comment below and we'll drop you a link. Remember, if you need help getting your buy-to-let property up and running, then we can help. Visit our website www.lifestylepropertypeople.co.uk or hit me up on Instagram. Look forward to speaking to you soon.